Hello, welcome to today's video where I'll be covering my webcomic process in Clip Studio Paint. It's no understatement to say that creating a comic is hard work. From drawing backgrounds to crowd scenes to clothing details, there's always something time-consuming that needs drawing. And if you want to publish a comic in a timely schedule, it can often feel like there just isn't enough time to do it all. One of the things that makes Clip Studio Paint my favorite art program is the abundance of features and assets designed with comic creators like me in mind. Because it's so accommodating to the specific needs of the medium, Clip Studio Paint has garnered a large community of comic creators across the world who come together to share their resources with one another. There's no place that demonstrates this better than the Clip Studio Paint Assets page. Here, artists can upload and share their brushes, tool settings, and materials for each other to use. Thanks to the creativity of this community, there's a plethora of tools and resources available to download for free that can make a comic artist's life so much easier. Today I'd like to cover five of my favorite free Clip Studio Paint assets available for download and discuss how I use them for comic creation. I'll provide the names and content ID numbers for each asset so you can download any that interest you. The first asset I'd like to show off is one I created myself. It's an auto action that allows the user to automatically color their line art to match the colors underneath. In my comic series, I really like the look of colored line art, but it can be a hassle to manually go in and color everything one character at a time. By using this auto action, it'll automatically sample colors from the layers below it and attach a clipping mask layer on top of your line art with the new colors. That way, you could change the colors or line art individually without interfering with the other. To use this auto action, just download it from the Assets page using this ID. After it's been added to your Downloads folder, just add it to your Auto Actions panel, and then run it with your Lion Art layer selected. The next asset is one that can be useful for sketching out your comic panels. One of the hardest things for many artists to draw are hands. Unless you're very practiced at drawing them, it could take a lot of time to get them right. This asset, which you can find using this ID, is a posable 3D hand model. What I like about this model in particular is that it has realistic proportions, so it's suitable for a variety of different art styles, and is completely free to use. As you can see in the asset description, you can flex the fingers, change the size and shape of the hands, and if you have Clip Studio Paint EX, you can easily create line art directly from the model. For my own comics, I like to use this model when I want a hand drawn in a position that I would struggle to draw normally. After downloading it, just drag it from your download folder onto your canvas and you can pose it however you like using the object tool. The next asset is a brush you can use for easily drawing outdoor backgrounds. This brush, which you can find using this ID, allows you to quickly and easily create leaves for trees and bushes. Like the asset description shows, you can either draw with the brushes as is for cell shaded trees, or turn on color mixing to let the colors blend together as you draw. I find it works best if you set one lighter and one darker color as your foreground and background colors, then alternate back and forth between them to create a shaded effect. I like this brush a lot because it provides enough variety in the leaves that it makes them look hand drawn. To use the brush, simply drag it from your downloads folder to your brush list and you're ready to go. Next, I'd like to show off a niche but very useful brush for drawing books and papers. You can find it using this ID. There are several versions of the brush, which allow you to either stamp a paragraph of text onto a page, or you can manually draw out the sentences to fit a curve. What I really like about this set of brushes is that the text itself is illegible, so it can work for fantasy settings or modern settings and not imply any specific language. For my own comics, I like to use the stamp variant of the brush on its own layer above the paper or book I want to draw. For this example, I've used a 3D book model and then used the Extract Line Art tool to create the base. Then on a new raster layer, I draw out my text using the brush. Finally, I use the Mesh Transform tool and Liquify brush to fit the text to the page naturally. And to make it look more faded, I like to erase areas with a soft airbrush or a textured brush. Finally, this asset is an image material that you can use to quickly texture a stone wall or pathway. You can find it using this ID. 
There are two versions available, one that's fully colored, and a transparent one that just shows the gaps between the stones. I especially like the transparent one because I can use any color I want for the bricks and then overlay this image on top. To use it, just drag it from your downloads to your canvas. For my own comics, I like to use the transform tool to fit it as accurately as possible to the perspective of the scenery. Since it's an image material, you can scale it up and down to fit your size preference easily. I like to use a layer mask to erase areas that I don't want visible, so I can still adjust the size of the stones later. Those are some of my favorite Clip Studio Paint community assets for use in webcomic creation. Check the description below for my social media links and more tutorials. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Clip Studio Paint